second part of network security introduction where we will be talking about different kind of malware, um, namely ransomware and spyware. And the word malware really comes from two words, malicious and software, which you combine into one. Ransomware is quite nasty because it usually takes control of your computer by restricting access to files uh, or systems. Uh, this is usually done by encrypting either all or some of the files on the hard drive. It requires then the user to pay a ransom before the system can be used again, and it can target both users and companies. So it can be both a single computer which is locked, but it can also be a large system attack where several servers with business critical information is left inoperationable. And that can be really critical for a business, so more businesses than you might think actually choose to pay. Of course, the, the, the criminals behind it are trying to build up a, a business where they have a high reputation, so it increases the likelihood that people will pay if they believe they will actually get access to their files back. So one of the things they can do is that they can offer that you can send them one or two of the encrypted files and they will decrypt it for you just to demonstrate that they do have the key and the ability to do so. So here is an example of what a screenshot can look like where you are requested to pay. Um, it can also be that you have to pay it in, in bitcoins, which is an, a more anonymous way of transferring the money. Um, we also have other kind of malware, for example, spyware, where spyware is often monitoring the activities of the user without him or her knowing it. And this information can, can then be used for different, um, for different things. Uh, one thing it can be used as is that it can be used uh, to harvest private information such as email addresses, login and credit card numbers which can be sold, but it can also be used to monitor internet activity in order to optimize the ads that the person receives. Um, the spyware can be either an, a standalone program that the user installs, for example, by visiting a malicious website which will install it on his computer, but it can also be, be something that the user downloads himself as a part of, for example, free software. So if you're downloading a free video editing software without knowing the origin, it might very well be infected by some, with some kind of spyware. Uh, that was the end of this um, second lecture. So now please take question number one before we continue. Thank you for listening.